Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel, American Boy Collects American Girl. How y'all doing? Uh, so I got a new, another um, outfit showcase. For some reason the video decided to start up without me. So I just decided to go with it. So I didn't have it on the, the display uh, when I should have had it ready. Uh, let's see. I don't know what's going on. For a while there I had it so you could see the... Oh, there we go. I gotta change the uh, angle. There we go. Now you can see the, the shoes. Alright, so this is... I guess you can tell this is Julie. Um, so yeah, this is her... Let's see, I'll go this way, I guess. This is one of her... I believe it's her birthday outfit. Actually, I have it right here. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, Julie's birthday outfit. This is actually a second version of her Julie uh, for birthday outfit because the original one had long sleeves and a different kind of hat. I think it was a straw hat. Um, I definitely want to get that one because that's the original. <clears throat> but um, let's see, let's see what it comes. What they call this? Um, this one dress, one hat, one sandals. All right, I think this is what they called the maxi dress. Um, I think there was two different versions of the maxi dress, two different versions of the birthday outfit. Because uh, I don't think the other maxi dress was called, I think it was just called the maxi dress. I don't think it was actually um, called a birthday outfit. But this one was called a birthday outfit. Um, the other one was kind of cool though. It has like multiple different fabrics creating the skirt um, all sewn together. But this is um, this is the uh, this uh, more recent version. I think, it just, I think it was discontinued last summer, but I'm not sure. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. So let's just showcase what we got here. So first I will take this off. This is the hat. This is like really, well, you can sort of see it there, how thick it is. This is like super thick felt. And it's like, I think it was molded felt. So that's where the tag is sewn in on the inside. And then it has this like little like strip that's like done around. That's like that on the top. So it's rounded, and then you can see the depth inside there. So that's the hat. Now this box is also kind of interesting. I don't know why they started doing this with the boxes, but it doesn't open like here like you'd think, or have the lid come off. It opens up here. I really don't like those. They're kind of annoying. It's kind of hard to figure out how to put the stuff back in. Um, but anywho. Personally, I didn't feel like this is really what I classify as a birthday outfit. To me, it seemed more um, summer, so that's why I put it on her. Uh, let's see. I don't have to remember how to take this out. This is a little bit different for this outfit. They actually had a plastic tray that you actually go and put the hat back in. Let's see if I can figure out which direction this goes in here. Oh. Must be that way. This looks like that. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So you actually have... I'm going to in there, right? I feel like at some point it should just drop in, but it's not. Maybe there. Okay, maybe that's it. So yeah, they actually had this tray to put the hat in, so it kept its shape. I thought that was kind of cool. The only thing I wasn't too fond of, though, is that the dress is just thrown into the bottom of the box, and then the sandals are, like, underneath it. And it's like just in a clump because this is like really sheer fabric. So it's just going to like, you know, I mean, it's not really fabric. I don't think it's going to get super easily wrinkled either. But at the same time, it's kind of frustrating that they would just throw it in like that. So anyway, so that's... So yeah, so, um, so basically that's how it goes. I'm going to show it to you. That's how it goes back in the box. I think that's how it went. So I can't remember it. I think the dress, so the dress and the shoes just go down the side. I think I'm going to actually get another a flatter box and redo the dress and something else, but I didn't realize this. They actually have the booklet for her birthday dress, and she's in her little egg chair, and she has her birthday accessories. So yeah, on the inside it says, Happy Birthday, Julie, and it shows her in the outfit. And then, let's see... It's going to give you, sorry if I don't get that zoomed in right, but I'll try to do each section. Gives you information about her um, birthday story. Um, and 
that's the back side. Yeah, so it just tells you about the birthday story. So I guess the other stuff that's shown there next to her is her birthday accessories. Um, I think that's just been discontinued because I don't remember seeing that on the website. I think they still have the egg chair, but I'm not for certain. Not really something that <laughs> really appeals to me. <laughs> okay, it is kind of cool though. Um, yeah, so this came out in 2020. Okay, I didn't realize it was that new. All right, but I think it's gone now. I think they got rid of it. All right, so then, let's see. I love the fact that I can actually brush Julie's hair. She's like the only historical character that I can do that with. Um, so let me, actually, let me turn this back around because I forgot this was part of it. But part of the thing is there's this, like, the top part is actually, um, oop, it's fine. Go that way. Is actually just tied. Um, let's see. It's just tied in a knot, right? I think it was tied in a bow, but I think part of the bow came out. Anyway, um, it was not the easiest thing to do. So yeah, yeah, that was supposed to be in a bow. But I figured it's under her hair, so why is that to be perfect? So yeah, let me just show you what this dress looks like without it being on her. Oops. Uh, let's see. So that just comes off like that. Oh, that's actually, actually, <laughs> it's actually just straps that are tied around. So that actually comes off real easy. Then I got to go through and let's see, I'm going to do the turnaround just so I don't get the Velcro caught. Let's see, so it's just Velcro. The rest of the way down the back is just the Velcro. Uh, let's see, take you out of the stand. There we go. And so... This is what the dress is. Just a very sure fit. It's basically just, that's how it was basically in the box. I'm like, are you kidding me? Really? Right? We're just going to toss it in like that? I mean, again, I don't think it's like something's going to get super wrinkled because it's this very, very sheer fabric. But still, you know, I kind of like to keep it where it's not going to get wrinkled. And that's got, I don't know, I don't know if the right term is brocade. But it's really cool. It's like a plum purple. And I really like how, you know, the there was, um, so it's purple with the floor, but they, they took out the light blue for the hat. So it actually makes that pop on the uh, dress. See, I don't remember if this was tied in or not in the, I can't remember. Yeah, so that's just like tossed in there. I'm like, I'm not really fond of how they had that package, but yeah, that was how they had it. Um, and then she also has... Let me see if I can get these off hand. Alright. So she has these sandals. It's kind of cool. So I, I oh so I'm about to taking the shoe off. It gets uh, let's see. So this is what the sandal looks like. And it's actually kind of cool. It's this brown elastic that matches the sandal. And I thought that's kind of cool. So I thought at first it was a piece of ribbon, but then when I found it, no, it's actually stretchy, so it's elastic. So I'm like, huh, hope they don't go bad after a while, but that is a really cool sandal. And then it's like flat, oh, not flat, it's got like the ridges on the bottom. Uh, and then the other one obviously is going to be the same. But there are, let's see, get the right straight, right way. So these are the two. I forgot to put this disclaimer at the beginning. We have a bit of a windstorm going on outside right now because winter decided to come back. It's actually um, like less than an hour before, um, I think it's actually down to less than a half hour uh, before leap day. So it's on the 28th, almost about to become the 29th. Um, one thing I've also, I don't know if you, know, if you caught that, but I have the, um, her meat necklace is still on. No, it's, she's kind of cool. She's the only one that has the name necklace. Um, I don't remember which one this was. If this is the easy to take off or the hard to take off. What was the... Uh, it wasn't so complicated. Um, I'll probably leave it on. I've kind of decided after I've had such struggles with some of the jewelry that from now on, I think I'm just going to leave them on. And if I have to, I'll just hide it under the outfit. <laughs> anyway, but that's... Um, yeah, and she has the really cool underwear that have the butterfly on. That's kind of neat. So that's unique and different. Um, 
But yeah, let's let's go and get her dressed. So what we're putting her into is actually her Christmas outfit. I'll just leave her there for a minute. Um, this is the blouse. So it's a really fun white blouse. I really could have used some... <laughs> I think this isn't so bad, but I could have maybe used a little bit of a steaming or an ironing. I didn't realize that at the time. Uh, this is the part that's a little bit more messed up, but it's the jumper that goes over the blouse. Um, it's kind of messed up, so hopefully I'm hoping it will look all right when I get it done, but I got to figure out what I'm doing with that too. I might have to give you an update later <laughs> if I ever get a steamer, but then it has the gold tights that are really cool. And I think this is really cool because like, I don't know if you caught the attention to detail, like there up on the, the little tie thing up on the top of the at the neck and it has velcro so you don't have to even worry about undoing that but then look at these sleeves they got these poofy sleeves the detail there and i think th these are really fun the tights but then you also i don't know if you caught i forgot about this but it has this floral embroidery on the dress skirt of the dress but then so we have all that detail then we get to her shoes <laughs> These are still in good condition. They're a little crushed because they were in a bag when I got them out. And like the black part you see right here that the leather, that isn't so, uh, well, I'm not sure it's leather. I think it's vinyl. I think it's actually black vinyl. Um, but it's in better condition. It's better vinyl than what they use for the red vinyl jumper. However, what I'm not so crazy about is what they made the platform part of the shoe of. I don't know if you, oh, I don't know if you can quite catch it on camera as to what the material is. There's a little bit of a heel. It's actually foam, like like the foam you might not foam board, but like the foam, like the craft foam, but it's like super thick. I don't know if you can see it's like it's almost like I think one inch thick, half inch thick. I don't know. Maybe. Ha yeah, I think half inch. It's like a half inch thick. And I'm like, but it's basically like foam. Like you like sort of like the craft foam, but super thick. And I'm like that was kind of cheesy <laughs> i mean you have the all this detail of the the collar and the cuffs on the shirt and the embroidery on the dress and even the even the belt here i think i think it just um let's see that was the thing i was going to do on camera too i don't think there's an actual buckle it's just i mean there's a buckle but it doesn't have the actual let's see yeah see so it's just attached to the dress there in the front for that part but then the other half it has the like the buck the holes for the that I don't know what you call that part of the buckle. <laughs> you know that little pointy thing that goes in the hole. <laughs> anyway, um, that sounded really bad. Anyway, but let's keep going. Um, it doesn't have that, so you don't have to worry about trying to get it hooked with that thing. So yeah, it just they're they're just fake for show to make it look like it has it. Um, anyway, so that's her Christmas dress. So let's, um, let me go put her in this and then we'll pause this and I'll be right back. So I just wanted to show you real quick what the base layer looks like. So I did get the shirt on. I got the tights on and I got one shoe on. I will just say, let you know right now, if you don't have this outfit and you're thinking about getting it, these shoes are a nightmare to put on. <laughs> I'll just warn you that right now. So let me get the other shoe on in the jumper and then we'll go from there and get her hair fixed up a little bit. And then I'll show you the final completed outfit. But yeah, these are, I think the part it's hard to get these on is if you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me show the other one. Um, but that strap is like, it's like two straps that are intertwined. And it's like really, it's not really, I think it's like too tight. It should have been a little bit looser so you could have actually got it on. So it's a little, it's a little tricky, but once you get it on, so that's what it looks like on her foot. It is weird, though, that you'd use sandals with tights, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it works. All right, I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. Um, yeah, and it's officially Leap Day, um, February 29th, 2024. It hit that while I was in the process of changing. It might have been that when I did the previous little bit. Anyhow, I, I just got to say, too, I love... Julie's hair. I don't know if she was supposed to have like a Brady vibe because it was in the 1970s, but she definitely reminds me of one of the Brady girls. <laughs> uh, especially the, the hair like that, just platinum, just straight without no like curl like a lot of the other uh, girls have with their hair. Um, but yeah, so here she is in her first version of her Christmas outfit. 
And so, yeah, it actually is a very stretchy velour. So, yeah, there's still a little bit of a wrinkle there. Um, but actually, it works itself out that it actually um, stretches most of it, wrinkle out. Um, so, yeah, these are the shoes. They're, like, really, they're really, <laughs> this is, like, a very vibrant gold combined with the black. Maybe that was a thing for the 70s. I don't know. But, yeah, so that's her, and I got her hair all straightened out. So yeah, um, let me know if you have Julie and which version of her Christmas outfit. Do you have all three of them or do you have just the first one or the second or the third? Um, I am personally like to get the original. So like I just did Rebecca for her Hanukkah outfit and the purple one. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let me do one thing real quick. I just wanted to real quick show the two together before I finish the video. So... Let's see, move this. Oh, you can move back a little bit. So here we have Julie and Rebecca. I don't know if it's because we bought both of these last Easter at the same time, but for some reason these just seem like they go together. I don't know why. <laughs> I know they're from two different time periods, but maybe it's because they were the ones that came out. I believe they came out back to back. I think it was Rebecca first and Julie, or maybe I got that backwards. I'm not sure. Anyway, actually, I can tell you. Hold that thought. I think this was the catalog when Rebecca debuted. Okay, so actually Julie came out first and then Rebecca. The only reason I know that is because this catalog shows you that, see, Rebecca's new in this catalog and Julie already exists. So yeah, so that was the catalog that uh, Rebecca came out in. But yeah, these are kind of cool. I actually kind of find a color combination with the purple and then the uh, maroon burgundy i'm not sure what color you call this but yeah very fun all right let's get you out of the way get my little stand back first i'll finish off with you right up here all right so yeah like and subscribe don't forget to do that um yeah i got a whole bunch more of these videos coming for you so <laughs> Sorry, it just takes a long time to do these because you got to prep and set up and everything. And it's like, it's kind of tedious. So it's like, I don't really like doing it super late at night. So this is actually really early. So I think it's just a little bit after midnight. So hopefully I can actually get to bed at a decent time tonight. But yeah, I like to try to do two of these at a time. But unfortunately, it's like, like Rebecca took forever to figure out how to do that hair bow. And then this one took forever to figure out how to get the sandals over the tights. So yeah, that was a little hard. But anyway... Yep, so that's Rebecca, or yeah, excuse me, that's Julie. So yeah, um, don't know which ones we'll be doing next, but I got still a whole ton more to do. So yeah, I don't, and again, I don't know when these are going to all air, but um, yeah, and I'm rambling now <laughs> and repeating myself over and over. All right, let's end this now before I <laughs> just keep talking for no reason. But yeah, this is Julie, and we are going to say goodnight and happy leap day.